Hey all, so today we've got the A50 Watt Gold Power Supply. It's an 80 plus gold power supply and it's an EVGA one. I've went with EVGA for my first PC build. It was a Supernova G3. So I thought, you know, why not go with another um, EVGA one? Because I wasn't really familiar with the other power supply um, brands and um, I think EVGA seemed pretty decent too. So the reason why I went with this one was because it has four VGA ports. So I got two of them because um, I got two of them for a, uh, a mining rig. And second, it has a lot of capacity as well. And third, it was on special as well. So normally it's like something like $240, but on special it was 190 So that was definitely good in terms of the price point. Uh, you've got the manual that comes with it. And it's also got this green tinge as well on the cover, which I found pretty cool. Um, I know, I think that's just like a more aesthetic touch anyway. Um, but yeah, mainly I got it for the four, um, four VGA cable things or the, the, the plug plugins or whatever. Now the thing with the power supplies is if you've ever looked at the product specs, they're actually quite confusing in terms of finding out how many ca cables you actually get because Normally they have the connector quantity, which um, probably also includes the amount of um, connectors actually on the cable. So if your cable has maybe multiple connectors and it's kind of hard to tell which is which. So with this one, it does come with four VGA cables, which is great. And it also comes with, I believe, two um, splitters. So basically that's just the VGA cable with an additional connector um, put on it. So it basically goes, goes goes from one to two connections i think that's for if you have um probably i don't know a, a garrix card that um takes um two eight pin connectors or maybe um two six pin maybe so and it probably doesn't draw too much power um otherwise if you're using a pretty beefy um card like a 3090 you definitely need to use separate uh cables to avoid any um um problems so um with this with this power supply as well um i found it was really nice material your cables are also sleeved they also have like straps as well which is really good for organization and keeping everything really clean and the individual cables um protected themselves um and I guess maybe the reason why I did go with EVGA, um, it's just a familiar brand. I know that there's like cheaper brands, power supplies. I could have gone with them, but I wasn't familiar with them. And I wasn't really confident putting my money into it, to them and also my rig as well, because I'd be running GPUs too. So EVGA, this one comes with a 10 year warranty. So that's good. And I looked online as well and heard that most of the time they're pretty good with the warranties too. So I guess definitely when you're you're going making such a big investment um, in a PC that you gotta have a good power supply because that's really just your connector to for your components to the actual mains power. Uh, I mean the other ones that I have bought um, as well as Silverstone lately for my second rig. So that's one that I went with. I did a lot of research as well because I wasn't really familiar with the brand and it kind of checked out too. So definitely do your research because um, you might have different requirements. Make sure the connectors actually fit your parts, like your graphics card and all that stuff. And also make sure that it has enough watts. So again, you probably heard, maybe if you look up online, there's an 80% rule that you might follow. That's probably something that you might have to look into as well because you don't want to exceed your, um, your wattage in terms of your power supply. And I also got an adapter as well for my power supplies so I can run them in sync. So one turns on and then it turns on the other. So basically I'm doubling my capacity but not having to invest in one power supply that is at a premium. Because if you wanted something like uh, like a 1700 watt power supply, it would cost you probably more than, <laughs> more plus 20% the cost of uh, this power supply. So if this is 190, like 380, like it probably a 1700 one will probably cost you much more, maybe even, I don't know, a couple of hundred. So it kind of, it's kind of a no brainer, but if you want a cleaner setup, then maybe you'll, you'll be more inclined to go with the beefier power supply 
and it's just more clean that way. Um, now, uh, I was tempted to go with a um, a more powerful power supply, but the thing is, it didn't have any more VGA ports, so there was really no point. There was only four on it, and I think it was like a, a thousand watt power supply, so there was honestly no point. Um, I do know the Silverstone ones that I got um, after, they actually had some, uh, well, they had four power ports, but they were 650 watts, so in that case, it supported less power, but it had more VGA ports, which was quite generous as well. So, yeah, uh, I mean, look, it, it, again, like with these power supplies, you um, you just need to do your research. Um, but it was really enjoyable unboxing this. It was carefully packaged. I really like the sleeve cables because Silverstone doesn't really have those. They're more like kind of like just the bare um, coverage of the cable itself. So... If you're not careful, you could actually damage them. So, um, and, and, and it can get a bit messy as well. They do, Silverstone does actually provide some sleeves as well that you can organize with, but I think sleeved ones are much cleaner looking. So if you're looking into the aesthetic stuff, um, that's definitely, this is something good to get if you don't want to pay for custom straps um, for your build. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, setup is easy. Pins should make sense as well. Um, everything's pretty straightforward as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a comment or any questions that you have and I'll see you in the next video.